U.S. stocks, they're climbing this Wednesday morning, led by tech shares, even as the results of the U.S. presidential contest so far has failed to yield a clear winner. First, Joe Biden appeared to be unable to take North Carolina, with President Trump holding a lead in that state, this according to NBC News, while Biden is leading in Arizona and Michigan, according to the same news outlet, but too early to call in those states as well. Meanwhile, in the Forex market, the euro dollar is testing a strong polarity level at 117. The euro dollar is showing significant volatility, recording of 170 pips movement since midnight. Technical indicators are providing little clue on the intraday trend that is mainly linked to the U.S. election situation. Yet a key area standing at 117 seems to act as a polarity level. Indeed, 117 was the October 30th top that has been broken up on the November 3rd midday and acted as a support during the the new trading session before being penetrated this night. The recent rebound allowed the pair to return close to this level, now likely to maintain an intraday bearish pressure. As a consequence, a break below 117, a return on this morning low at 116.30, and another test of this nightly low area at 116 is expected. Meanwhile, the British pound U.S. dollar pair sees its key resistance 130.15. This while the U.S. dollar Japanese yen pair intraday sees its support around 104.65. Moving on the Bitcoin dollar intraday, as long as 13,618 is the support, look for 14,144 with the pivot point standing at 13,618. And in precious metals, gold is under pressure as the relative strength index is bearish and calls for further decline. Short positions below 1901 are favored with targets at 1880 and 1871 in extension. This while silver intraday sees its key resistance 2390 a troy ounce.